go ahead. Uh, we're here live at Universal at the Waterworld Sun Show with one of the deacons, Mr. Greg Dahl. Hello! Uh, all of you are big fans of Greg and, <laughs> and Sheridan, and we're going to try to get video with Sheridan, but today we got Mr. Greg Dahl. And um, Greg, how long have you been with the show? Uh, I, I've actually been with the show since the very first public performance uh, we opened. We're coming up on our 15th year anniversary on October 21st, Waterworld, the attraction turns 15 years Oh, old. right. Nice. And I did the very first show to the paying audience back oh, on October sweet. 21st. Nice. Yeah. Um, during the show, I see um, you have a lot of comedy in your acts. Where did you get the inspiration for that, for the sarcasm? Uh, well, well, I'll immediately go to my parents, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, my parents, uh, you know, I grew up in a very big family, seven children. Uh, I have four brothers and two sisters. and. Maybe as a, a survival mechanism, we've all kind of had to manage to, you know, cope in some way. Uh, certainly humor. Uh, my, so I love my parents. I'll throw it to them. But I, I, you know, the people here also, the, it, there's very much at Waterworld a, a family feeling. And literally, I, I, I mean, I feel like I'm out there with my brothers and sisters. And we're all, we, we all just have such a great time. And the management also echoes that. They want us certainly to do a good show. But... Uh, they know that the best path to uh, something that's really good is for us all to be enjoying ourselves and having a good time. And um, another question I have is, um, of course you guys are a professional stuff in, and I've seen your pictures you've worked on, on Res uh, Resident Evil. Have you ever gotten hurt during during one of these shows? Uh, that, that's a great question and it's probably one of the one of the biggest questions that we get. Anybody who's seen the show will look at the environment that we work in and see that it's made largely of, of steel, jagged steel and concrete. Um, to answer the question, I've never been hurt myself at, at the show. We have had some injuries at the show, uh, but we've been very, very fortunate considering the, the scope of what we do here. The injuries have all been largely superficial, cuts, scrapes. Um, every single person in the cast has a number of little scars on their shins from climbing all of the ladders. Every single, every single person on the entire roster um, has dinged their knee or their shin at one point or another. Uh, we've had a few, we did have a, a broken jaw, we've had some stitches, we've had several knees that have been blown out from, from coming down the slide pole, we've had people hit by jet skis, and we've had people hit by pipes and knocked out during some of the fights, we've had people punched in the head and staggered, uh, so there have been a lot of things, but again, when you consider how long we've been doing the show and the nature of what we do, we've been, we've been very, very fortunate. And uh, one more question, one last question. Uh, what is your personal favorite part of the show when you are performing? Uh, what is my personal favorite part of the show? Well, I, I, I actually have two, two answers, if that's all right. Um, when we're on the peninsula and we're doing all of our interaction, it's, you know, my character doesn't, my, my role, I don't get to do a whole lot of physical yeah, acting, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm mic'd and I have a lot of the lines, yeah, so when I'm on stage next to Lon Gowan or uh, Brandon Lozier or, or Sean Lozier, any of our fives who are really so spectacular, um, and Helen's, the Helen's, and we have a nice little triad of people interacting, I, I really love that because I get to stand there and watch the five, which is the clutch or sidekick, do all of the eye poke thing, and I, and I have a front row seat to watch <laughs> Some of the funniest people in Los Angeles do their work, and I just I really enjoy standing there doing that. And the other answer is um, I love the the score of, of Waterworld, uh, which was written uh, by James Newton Howard. Still, even 15 years later, it breathes such life into what yes. we do. Yes. And there are many times out there when the action is coordinated such that it goes right with the music, and I feel even though it's a live show, I feel like I'm right in the middle of a motion picture. And when, when the grenade launcher, or I'm sorry, the potato masher gets thrown to me and the jet skier, the mariner comes across the ramp and knocks the number eight into the water, I'm like from here to you away from it. And I get to see it like no other person gets to see it. I mean, right there, I just get to see him wiped out. Mm -hmm. And it, it's really a neat moment. I, I like that moment a lot. Thank you very much. We appreciate you doing thank this interview. Thank you very, thank very you. much. And thank you guys so much for, for caring and supporting us so much. So whenever you guys come to Universal, make sure to come see Greg. Stop by and say hi, please.